As part of the United Nations 16 days of activist, activism against all forms of violence against women, the federal government is say then go upscale the advocacy strategy with their partners to take make sure say women and girls they integrated into President Muhammadu Buhari next level agenda. The Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Talen, she make this matter known inside Abuja as she assured newsmen for the federal government commitment to take protect victims for violence plus rape. Mr. Talen say the federal government go support victims when they in grief to enable them integrate back into the society. Also present for the United Nations Deputy Secretary General Amina, Amina Mohammed, we express worry for the number of women plus girls will be victims for rape on top of daily basis. This year's theme for 16 days of activism, Generation Equality Stands Against Rape, calls for all of us to collectively spotlight the pervasiveness of rape and other forms of sexual violence in our societies and to take urgent action to stop these crimes. Globally, governments have committed and recommitted to ending all forms of violence against women and girls, including sexual violence. Yet, around the world, rape and sexual abuse, everyday violence occurs, affecting hundreds of millions of women and girls over their lifetime. And now it is time to renew these efforts to put an end to this scourge. The 2019 commemoration team Orange the wall. Generation equality stands against rape. It's very apt and it speaks to issues of rape, which is assuming an alarming and unacceptable dimension in our society. The orange color has been adopted globally due to, the, uh, to what it represents in nature. The color orange combines red and yellow to give the alluring look, which is said to represent emotional strength in difficult and the in difficult times help those who are downcast to bounce back from disappointments and despair while assisting those in grief to recover the ministry under my leadership will continue to advocate for an end to all forms of discrimination against girls and women in nigeria to this end we will upscale our ongoing advocacy strate strategies with all relevant partners to ensure that women and children concerns are not left out of the next level agenda of the administration of His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari. The next 16 days, the government of Nigeria, development partners, civil society organizations, and courageous individuals and women-led organizations will commemorate the 16 days of activism. And I'm delighted that we have a full itinerary of local, national, international activities in place. I urge all of us to get behind these efforts, to achieve our collective goal, and to amplify the message that we are all, that in Nigeria, we are all going to promote um, uh, an end to violence against women and stand against rape and all forms of violence against women. I'm very excited today. After this program, we're going to be launching the, um, the Sexual Offenders Register. All those rapists, pedophiles, people who think they can rape and get away with rape, they are going to put them in the register. The register will be made available to everybody. Their faces, their names, their alliances, whatever they call themselves, are going to be up there for the whole world to see. We're also going to have another part of it where it will be restricted for those who were arrested but not convicted. The fact that you're arrested and you get off the hook because you have a good lawyer does not make you free. You are still going to know your name. The perpetrators are always those who are the aggressors and they have the financial muscle to try to cover up issues. So I'm glad we are launching that um, register today and I'm glad to be part of this program. Whatever legislation that needs to be put in place, we are doing our best. We know that the Police Act has a lot of discrimination against women, which we already started um, repealing in the, in the Senate. We, um, the, the sexual, the one for the universities too. We are working on that. There are so many other laws that are discriminatory against women that encourage violence against women that are existing in our nation.